안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. I'm looking at my phone to check if it's uh, working or not, but it seems like my screen looks so much more yellow. It looks so warm. Do you guys see my face really warm? <laughs> it's weird. The screen seems really red. It's weird. Hello! Thank you so much for joining the live streaming. Jessica, welcome back. Oh, so you know about this video. Okay, I didn't know until today. Actually, yesterday, last night. Because I tried to find the article the day before or the same day for the live streaming so that it is up to date. But it seems like this screen was installed a while back. So I don't know why the news article was written very recently. But you cannot wait to read about it. That's great. Same for Rachel. Wow. So you saw it in person. Oh my God. Carita, Francesca, DZ Team. Nice. It's a bit warm. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Hello, Alex. Hello, Jess. That's great. It was viral on the internet very recently. I see. Sometimes viral goes on after things already happen. <laughs> Hello, Lip. Lipton, hello Tiffany. Welcome to the live chat. Awesome. So as you know, this is a highly interactive learning. So we're gonna go through article. Like yesterday, I'm gonna read it for you. But since the article is a little longer compared to other ones, so I'm gonna pick out three paragraphs to read for you. <laughs> you know, I get nervous when I read it because I never actually read out loud when I read Korean. Let alone that I don't read as many articles in Korean anymore, but reading out loud is kind of frightening. In front of all of you, Mukasha, welcome back. Neil, Marik, welcome back. Cheryl, that's great. Those of you who made it to the live streaming, I'm very happy. So you can find this neighbor article in the description box and also the full article. But I picked three paragraphs today. Okay. So this is the part. I thought that, oh my God, what is this? It looks like real tide. That's the thing about how realistic it looks, even though the tide is not even real. Yeah, Cheryl, yeah, try it. <laughs> All right, so, so as you can see, this article was written. Uh, is it yesterday or today? Because this is Korean time. So I guess last night for my time because I live in Canada. So this article was written AM in South Korea, 25th. So, I'm going to read through. Please let me know if you can hear it well. I picked this particle, okay? 서울 강남구 삼성동 코엑스 인근에 설치된 삼성전자 디지털 사인이지 상업료 디스플레이에서 상행되는 영상이 이목을 끌고 있다. <웃음> 특히 파도가 요동치는 영상이 농구 경기장 내배 크기의 초대형 LCD 사이니지에서 선명한 화질로 상영되면서 주는 생생한 몰입감에 CNN을 비롯한 여러 외신이 찬사를 보냈다. Do you hear any words here and there? I know this article is not something that you're gonna speak in general. But when you read articles, this is something that you're going to encounter more often. Most likely in articles or news. But do you see some familiar nouns or some vocabularies here and there? 너무 쉬워요. 
Tiffany is so easy. <laughs> and Rachel right after, challenging. <laughs> this is challenging, you know why? Because they actually use a lot of English words and turn it into Korean. That's why it sounds very mouthful. When you speak, it's like tongue twisting. You heard Gang Ham. Oh, you mean Gangnam. Yeah, Gangnam. Gangnam style. Ooh, ooh. Display. Yeah. That, yeah, that's it. Display. You heard Seoul. Uh, Samsung. There's so many words that you can actually know. You know in English. So, I'm gonna keep going here. Gangnam District. So I skip this part. I'm going to go right here, the third paragraph. Signage는 공공장소나 상업 공간에 설치되는 디스플레이를 일컫는다. TV와 PC, 모바일에 이은 제4의 스크린으로도 불린다. CJ 파워캐스트 한국무역협회와 공동으로 설치한 이 사인이지는 9000리트 밝기와 초고화질의 2배에 달하는 해상도를 지원한다. 니트 수치가 높을수록 낮에도 선명하게 콘텐츠를 볼수 있다. This part is kind of tricky and a little difficult. Not because you don't know Korean words here and there. It's more like the technical words. Even for Korean myself, when I read it, it's a little too technical. So I picked out one sentence from here. So I'm going to keep going. So next word that I picked is uh, this paragraph. Okay. You lost your place. What's that mean? Oh, you mean why reading you lost your place? <laughs> I translated it literally in my head. You lost your place. I wasn't sure. Okay. So, 코엑스일 때는 국내 최초 5개 광고물 자유표시 구역으로 지정돼 한국판 타임스퀘어라는 별칭과 함께 디지털 미디어 랜드마크로 자리 잡았다. 삼성전자, LG전자 등이 이곳에서 초대형 사이니지 기술력을 뽐내는 이유다. 정부는 한국판 타임스퀘어를 키우겠다는 취지로 2018년 코엑스 일대를 첫 5개 광고 자유표시 지역으로 지정, 광고, 관련 규제를 대폭 완화했다. Wow. So you guys know each other. Rachel, Cheryl. Wow. Hello, hello. So these are the three paragraphs that I picked. Okay. And I picked five sentences from these three paragraphs. We're going to go through them each word for word. So please have your pen, paper, and dictionary ready. Because I'm going to ask you questions and try to answer them as much as you can because that's going to help you improve your Korean faster. Okay, so we're going to move on to our study board. Uh, not this one. That's the last one. Here we go. This is the very first sentence of the first paragraph. Okay. 서울 강남구 삼성동 코엑스 인근에 설치된 삼성전자 디지털 사인이지 브라켓 상업용 디스플레이에서 상영되는 영상이 이목을 끌고 있다. So, think about what subject main verbs, main object might be. Depends on what kind of verbs are, you may need an object. And as you know, article is one of the best way to learn Korean structures. 
So if you want to get familiar with Korean sentence structure, this content might be the best. Because if you want to get familiar with natural speaking, this may not be the best way. So you have to get familiar with both types of contents actually. So what is the main verb? If you know the main verb, it's easier to find subjects and objects. Because main verb, it's very easy to find in general, whether you know the word or not. Kuda. Oh. Main verb goes at the end of the sentence. So, wow, Rachel said, Kuda, Alex, Itta, Mare, Kugo, Itta. They're pretty much all the right answer, I would say. So, Kuda, this is the verb, main verb. But, however, this part is the verb ending. So, itta by itself also has a meaning as a verb. But this is more like a grammar. Verb root plus ko itta. Grammar. So, look up this verb, kuda. Kuda. And then ko itta. This is a grammar. It's one of the tenses. Okay, what tense is it? Ko itta. And Tiffany already answered subject. So let's figure out that after. Kuda, hang. Kuda could be hang. Korda, korda is hang. Kuda, so attracting. So I think this is like attract attract but it works well with attraction in general so you can think of it as draw because in English you would say draw uh, attention right draw attraction draw attention how do you say that attract attention can you say that too so this is like good that Literally, it means dragging or draw. Or you can also interpret it as attract. Okay? So this part is present progressive. That's right. A lot of you got that. So what we are drawing. So you need to know the object. But you, you may be able to find it easily as you know the verb. So what are you drawing? So Do you uh, do you know this word? Emo. It's not this neck. Uh, my net, right? So, emo is one word, attention. So, you draw attention. So, I think this may be the main object because they're linked well with this verb. Hi, Sergio. Uh, are you calling me aunt or this is aunt? <laughs> I wasn't sure. Probably you meant emo, right? Emo is aunt or aunt or aunt. <laughs> emo, attention. Yeah, so you drawing attention. What is drawing attention? Do you see subject? Earlier Tiffany said, this. But let's figure out. This one, 삼성전자 디지털 사인이지에서. 
Do you usually see 에서 as a subject now? Maybe not. So if you're not sure what subject it is, then maybe we can start from the beginning. Unless somebody knows, somebody can guess. Oh, 영상이. Okay. So some people say 영상이 because subject particle, right? But sometimes this subject particle may not be subject now, right? So based on this phrase, we can only find one subject particle. So this may be the best bet. But we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. So here starting from beginning. 서울 강남구 삼성동 코엑스 인근에 설치된 All noun. Korean people love combination of nouns. You know, Seoul, capital of South Korea. Seoul. 강남구. This is Gangnam district. I guess this is actually a good way to learn the address format. Western country, I don't know about European or other countries, but at least I know about Canadian format for postcode and address where it is located. So pretty much it's complete the opposite. The way you write address, it's the opposite. Except for the postcode, you write postcode at the end. But Western, I guess, Canadian version, you write the smallest one and then goes the biggest. You write the uni and then the street and then the, the um, province and then the country name, things like that. Korea is the opposite. So starting from the biggest one. So Seoul, Gangnamgu. Inside Seoul, there is Gangnam district. Inside Gangnam district, there is Samsung-dong. Smallest, largest, I see. But Korea is the opposite. So Dong is a little smaller than district. And inside that, there is a coex area. Coex, I don't know if you ever been to. I guess some of you went. Rachel, you went to coex? So Coex is the place where usually have large conventions. I've been there for convention before and and they have a lot of educational stuff and also cultural things as well. So Coex is the area in Samsungdong. Oh you been to Coex? That's good. Oh you never be. I guess it was Tiffany. That's right, Rachel, you're saving up, right? Good. 인근에. So look up this word, 인근에. So this is a similar word as 근처에. Yeah, convention center, that's right. It's similar to 근처에. But I feel like 인근에 is a little more sophisticated word, I guess. I don't know. You probably find it more so in article. 인근에, yeah, like nearby. But if you look it up in the dictionary, it says in the vin, vicinity of. So you know the approximately in the vicinity of. <laughs> Something like that. 인근에. 설치된. This is the verb turning into adjective and. So look up this verb. 설치되다. Ah, vicinity. Sorry, not beans. <laughs> yeah, in the vicinity of. Yeah, I knew I was pronouncing something funny. 설치되다. So as you know, part of Verb, if you see teda, it's like to become. So, something is installed. 설치되다. 설치하다. 
That's to install. This is to be installed. So this is describing what comes after, which is all this. 삼성전자 디지털 사인이지. This is just extra words. 상업용 디스플레이. 삼성전자. You know Samsung? Just FYI, Samsung is three stars. Sam means three, Song is stars. Samsung three stars. 끈이. 아니요. 끈이 뭔지 모르겠는데요. 근처에. Same as 근처에. 전자 electronic. 삼성전자. Digital. Same as English word. Signage. I don't know what signage is until I read this article. You're gonna find out what signage is later. One of the phrases that I pick, it actually has definition of what signage is. 상업용, 상업 is industrial, 용, usage, display. A lot of English words, that's why I said there are a lot of English words because it's related to kind of technology. 에서 Location particle At that location So I guess this is like signage I wasn't sure if it, this is location It may well be Because it seems like 에서 It happened at that location 영상되는, 아, 상영되는 영상이. So, look up this verb, 상영되다. 는 adjective describing 영상. It's finally hot here in Canada. Wow. 상영되다. 사용하다. That's use. Oh. 사용하다. Gonna write here. That's use. 상영되다. Be played. That's good. Or you can also find be shown. Be screened. Okay? So something is shown. What? 영상. 영상. If you look up the word 영상, I'm going to write it here. This one is coming up as image. If you add 동, 동 has meaning of moving. 동 has meaning of moving. 동 영상, moving screen is becomes video. 동 영상, moving image. That's video. 영상 is coming up as image, but sometimes we say 영상 just casually for videos too. Because as we can clearly see in the article, it was more like video. They're showing the video, right? So, so even though in the article they said 영상, I think they're referring to video, 동영상. So, since we went through each word, what do you think? Is this the right main subject? The video is drawing attention. What kind of video? That was screened at this location. Samsung electronic digital signage, and this is the extra word. But this was installed. Oh, I guess maybe this is installed. Uh, near in this location. Installed near in this location. So I don't know if this installed they mean by this word or this screened video. I'm not sure. But I feel like 
grammatically it should be this but this is a location so I'm not sure but anyway we know that this is the main subject main object and this is a verb the rest is just extra good so I'm gonna go to the next one signage possibly but like I mentioned, I pick one of the phrases that's gonna give you definition of what signage is. Okay, so now we go to the second one. It's actually um, one of the longest phrase that I picked. I wanted to kind of put it at the end, but but they're kind of connected in a sense that they. The sentence came right after the first one. So this is actually the longest sentence. I'm gonna make myself small. Okay, so try to think about main verb, object, and subject. Again, the same thing. 특히 파도가 요동치는 영상이 농구 경기장 내배 크기의 초대형 LCD 사인이지에서 선명한 화질로 상영되면서 주는 생생한 몰입감에 CNN을 비롯한 여러 외신이 찬사를 보냈다. What do you think? What word do you see here? There is two words in English, LCD and CNN. <laughs> A main verb, do you see main verb? But hint is that you may find two main verbs if there is a conjunction. Pado, wave, that's good. You got pado, awesome. Ponetta, kala. Oh, main verb goes always at the end. That's the hint. 보냈다. 맞아요. 영상이 subject. Okay. This is subject. That's correct. Special video of a rolling wave. Okay. So, do you find conjunction somewhere? If you find a conjunction, we may have another verb. Because conjunction is what? Connecting clause to another clause. And it's used with verb. 상영되다. Okay. This is the verb. Okay. You see the verb here. 놓고. Where is 놓고? 어디서? Uh, this is nongu. Define <laughs> nongu ya nongu. Do you see any conjunction? I think this is conjunction. 면서. 면서. Okay. 면서. This is conjunction what? While. That's right. While something is happening and another thing happens. Alright. So I think we spent enough time for this. At least we got first. That's good. So we're gonna go through them together and then figure out the meaning. The first one, 특히. 특히. Especially, especially, this is adverb, or particularly. Yeah, 농구 is basketball, that's right. 맞아요. 파도가, subject, 파도가, wave. Someone already said it, wave, 요동치는, 요동치는. Describing 영상. 
especially wave what? 요동치다 verb. Look up this verb. 요동치다. 예, yeah, 특이하다. So actually that is more like it could be used in a negative way. 특이하다. 너 정말 특이해. You are kind of weird. <laughs> you are special in a way that you're weird. <laughs> 요동치다. Smack. Hit. You know 파도? Wave? Oh, fluctuate. I like that. Wave is fluctuating. 영상. Describing 영상. So we're gonna go with video in this case. Video that wave fluctuates. Yeah. What? 농구 경기장 내배 크기에 농구 basketball 경기장. When you see 장, possibly this is related to some kind of paste like 고추장, <laughs> 된장, right? Or it could be public place, 경기장, or 테니스장, 네? 장. 장 means public place, 경기 is match, match public place meaning stadium, basketball stadium, 농구 경기장, 네배. I said 네 배, not 사 배. 배 is counting unit for counting. <laughs> so this is like times. I made a video about this word. 배 has, I think, like four different meanings. If you want to check it out later, please do so after the live stream is over. 네 배. This is times. Four times the size. 크기 is size. Four times the size of this. I know. In English, it's kind of the opposite. 농구 경기장 네배 크기에. Basketball stadium four times size. Right? But in Korean, this is four times size of basketball stadium. That's insane. Is that big? Tiffany, did you say you saw it? It doesn't seem that big in the article, but it says it's the four times bigger. As big as, uh, four times as big as a um, basketball stadium. So big. How? Yeah, I don't know. That's why it became viral. <laughs> 초대형. 초대, 초대 has the meaning of super size, or it could be invitation. Okay, but it also has meaning of mega, mega, you know, mega, big size, super size. 형 means shape, so you can think of it as a super size shape. Okay. LCD sign needs again as a. Location particle. Oh, I see. You didn't see. 초대하다 to invite. 초대 invitation. In this case, it's super size. So, as a location, 선명한 화질로. Verb adjective. Describing 화질. So, look up the verb. 선명하다. So, when I tell you each word, I don't actually have to tell you the verb itself because it is adjective, right? But this is a great practice for you to think how the word is transformed from verbs to adjective, as it, adjectives to noun, or verbs to noun, and things like that. Pretty much in Korean language, if you know verbs, you can make into adverb, adjective, noun, pretty much. That's 설명하다. This is 선명한. 선명하다 is to be clear, to be vivid. Okay? So, this is adjective. Vivid, I already did that. Vivid what? 화질로. 
화질 나온 로 화질 is definition I guess the screen definition very vivid 로 has many meaning but let's go with by I'm not sure based on the context we're gonna figure out or it could be as 상영되면서 the verb 상영되다 Think we already talked about it to be screened to be shown so what is shown so this is the first clause connecting with while the next is the second clause so we already know this is the main verb so what is the main subject palette jolly palette jolly welcome So what do you think is the subject noun related to 상영되다? You know, I see your replies a bit delayed. So if I'm not answering even after you type something, just because I haven't seen it. <laughs> So we see two subjects here, is wave, is screened, or the video is screened. Wave already has the associated verb because it is fluctuating. What? Wave is fluctuating. That's right. Yongsang is the main subject. Right on. So, let's uh, translate again. 영상이, so the image or video that wave is fluctuating, especially, or I'm gonna start with especially first, especially the video that wave is fluctuating is screened. <laughs> English, right? Have to be verb after. Is screened as vivid definition at this place. Super sized LCD signage of or in four times the size of basketball stadium. Wow, wow, wow. While that's happening and this second clause, so we said. Bonetta, this is the verb. So we're gonna figure out what might be the subject and object for this verb. First of all, look up this verb, Bonetta. You can say vivid. Let's try. Bonetta. To send. Let's try. Yeah. You can also say high definition. You can say 고화질 as high definition technically, but we know vivid means high definition. So 보내다 is to send. Send. Oh, okay. So let's go through each word and see what might be the subject and object. So 주는 생생한 머리감에 주는 주다 verb, adjective, 생생하다, adjective, describing this. 주는, so the verb here is 주다. This is um, one of the basic verbs because you want to order something and this is the verb that you use. 불고기 한 접시 주세요. Okay. 물한잔 주세요. 월 어제처럼 커피 어, 커피 300잔 주세요. 300잔. <웃음> 300 cups of coffee. So, 주다 is give. So, you can think of it as gives off in this case. Okay? 생생한 몰입감에. 생생한 is another word for vivid, lively. Okay? 생생한. It's like a lively. Almost like it seems alive. Realistic, okay. 
모립 감에 모립 감 This is a neighbor says sensation of immersion. If I hear 모립감, I know what it means in Korean. But if I see sensation of immersion, I'm not too sure what it means. <laughs> so if it makes sense for you, that's all matters. 생일 is life, right? Yeah, makes sense. Small, hi. Welcome back. So the sensation of immersion, which is life, realistic sensation that gives off. Realistic sensation that gives off. A. Either location, but this is not a really location. So we're gonna figure out what they might be. Either to, right? Based on the context. CNN에 비롯한. CNN을, object particle. You know the uh, news media in U.S. I think this is um, some kind of something something network maybe. 비롯한 I pronounce this one as T sound. 비롯한 right? 비롯한 S and H sounds like T. So describing what comes after which is 여러 외신이 right? 비롯한 to include cable news network. Oh, Cheryl, thank you. Nice. 비롯한 But you know, CNN has to change their name. Now they're on YouTube. It's, it's going to be YouTube News Network later. <laughs> I think CNN makes more money on YouTube. <laughs> Not sure, I'm just joking. 여러 외신, 여러 외신이 subject particle. 여러 외신이, that is a number of foreign press. 외 means foreign, right? 외국인. 외국인, that's foreigner. 외신. Foreign press. Uh, press. A number of foreign press. That includes CNN. 찬사를 보냈다. 찬사. Shin is divine or God. Don't get confused with 천사 here. Okay, this is 찬사. Look up the noun 찬사. 천사. 천사 is an angel. Oh, the 천사 같아. You're like an angel. Are you? <laughs> 찬사 This is praise Compliment Okay So We gotta figure out What the main verb is associated to So is it Somebody sent CNN Or somebody sent praise What do you think? Someone sent What? Somebody's 칭찬 is a compliment. 찬사 is more like a, sounds more official, official um, compliment, praise. 천사, uh, 천사. <laughs> you got me confused, Rachel. So, 여러 외신이 number of foreign press sent. CNN or 찬사 Praise, right? So we know Number of foreign press including That's good CNN sent praise So this one I'm gonna interpret it as two Send praise to this The lively What was it? Sensation of immersion that gives up while, while, this. We already talked about. It's going to take too much time. This is such a long sentence. But you know, you get the point. First clause connecting with while and then the second clause. Okay? 
So just FYI, I, Korean people love Samsung. Literally. I remember my, I don't know if I should bring it up, but my family member, my relative, I mean, Samsung is a huge company, like uh, their worldwide scale. And back in the day, we also knew Samsung was so huge. If you get a job at Samsung, you're like jackpot, you know, you hit the jackpot. So, yeah, so people always wanted to get in Samsung. Doesn't matter what they do, doesn't matter what department they get in, it could be something. You can clean toilet at Samsung, but you still work at Samsung. Right? <laughs> but anyway, so people love a lot of products about Samsung, even nowadays. That is very much how Korean people can be united as one nation. If you look at the article, there is a bottom section where they can leave comments. Korean people actually leave comments. They feel so proud. Wow. Our country, our company, right? So next one is a little simpler, a lot simpler. Oh, I have to keep making myself even smaller. I didn't realize. Okay. So try to think about main verb and then subject and object. As you know, this is a lot easier than what we just did. Signage는 공공 장소나 상업 공간에 설치되는 디스플레이를 일컫는다. Oh, I see. In Brazil. Shout out to Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> but here is the question. Do people know that Samsung is a Korean company? <laughs> Not everyone. Anyway, so main verb, what's that? We know main verb goes at the end of the sentence. So, 일컫는다. Yeah, I remember one of my husband's friends when they when he invited us over and he had Samsung everywhere, Samsung TV, Samsung uh, stove, fridge, everything. And he was telling me, oh, look at this Samsung brand. Isn't this so great? I'm like, yeah, of course, you know, I feel so proud that you have our, my country's product. He said, Oh, but I thought they were Japanese. So it's very common. I don't get offended at all. So, 일컫다 verb. So this is the part that I mentioned earlier. This is definition of what signage might be. It also sounds like kind of bad, you know, like sinus infection. It sounds like sinus infection. <laughs> Sign it's weird. Why don't they just say sign? I'm not sure. Okay, 일컫다. This is similar thing as 불, 불르다, uh, 불린다, 불린다. So this is like a refer to. 일컫다, refer to. So, signage is subject particle. Yeah, to call, to refer to. That's right. Signage is what? 공공장소나 공공장소나 I guess if you use name as a verb, you name something. But this one is the subject, so to be referred as, I guess, in this case. Even though, uh, let's figure out how it's written in English. Maybe I'm getting confused. 공공장소. First of all, 공공. This is public place. 
I mean public place, 공공장소. Yeah, I think it's a little more formal like article we use it. I wouldn't really say. Public place, nah, what's that? Nah. This is noun plus na, that's why this is na I. Okay? This is or. 상업 공간이나 상업 industrial space. Industri this is actually a noun. In English, you don't usually say noun plus noun. That's why I say industrial space. But in Korean, we use a lot of compound noun. So industry, space. A, location particle. 설치되는, I think we already talked about this verb. 설치되는 adjective describing this. 설치되다, do you remember? So and when you see 되다 is to be, 설치되다 to be installed. What is installed? Display. So English word display. So signage is referred to. Uh, signage refers to. Is that how you say signage is referred to? Maybe is referred to. Display that's installed at public place or industrial space. So signage equals what? Display. So I guess that screen that we saw. This is called a signage. So display. I guess any types of display that's installed at public place or in the industrial space. Okay. So that, this was pretty simple. So signage is called that. And then a little longer we have two more phrases to go this is a little longer but it's kind of interesting meaning 코엑스일 때는 국내 최초 5개 광고물 자유 표지 표시 구역으로 지정돼 한국판 타임스퀘어라는 별칭과 함께 디지털 미디어 랜드마크로 자리 잡았다 so main verb Tiffany, 티파니 맞습니다. 장소. So main verb as you know at the end of the sentence 자리 잡다. So look up this verb 자리 잡다. It's almost like verb and noun combined that becomes a new verb. 자리 잡다. Yeah, that's right. 자리 means sit. 잡다 is grab. Grab a seat. That almost becomes a new verb. 자리 잡다 is secure. Or uh, stand. Something stands as. Or something secured, is secured as. Okay. So, 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 let's see. So, I think there is a conjunction here in this long sentence. Do you see any conjunction here? This is a little trickier because there is no distinctive conjunction. Oh, 
croire. Quoi que be conjunction. But conjunction, when I say I'm going to enlarge myself a little more. Conjunction, when I say conjunction, it's connecting clause to clause. Do you think that this is a verb? So when you see clause and then conjunction, another clause. So you're gonna connect with conjunction with verb, right? This is a verb, maybe not. Lanen to be called this. You know this is a tricky, you know why? <laughs> It's hidden, hidden conjunction. So do you, in that case, when I say hidden conjunction, do you see any conjugated verb root in the middle of the sentence? Hi, Genevieve. You came to tell us the answer, right? You got frustrated here. <laughs> 지정돼. So 지정되다. Like Genevieve said. So this is conjugated verb root. This is hidden conjunction. Okay? So we gotta figure out what it actually means. 지정되다. Look up the verb first. 지정되다. Okay? To become what? Well, this is also passive. To become designated. Okay? So this is a conjunction one, the rest is a conjun uh, clause, I mean clause two, clause one. So this is a subject. Coex itenin, subject particle. Coex itenin. You know this is coex. Coex. This is a convention center area. It this is um, called the whole area. Coex whole area. It okay. The entire area. 국내 최초 오개 광고물 자유 표시 구역으로. Wow, so many nouns. Come on, wow. 으로, as. So pretty much, coex entire area is designated as this. All the compound nouns. 국내, domestic. Oh, neighborhood is um, uh, 동네. 동네 is neighborhood. Okay. 국내, domestic. 국 means country, ne means inside. So inside the country, meaning domestic, as a noun, 최초, the for the first time, 최초, 5개 광고물, uh, let me see, what did I write? Open outdoor billboard. I, was, I never saw this word actually. 광고물, this is like advertisement product, 광고물. So, oge means actually open outdoor, I guess. Normally we say, wet up. Karina. Bye, Kari. Clara? Oh. I Kala. Kala, I see. Bye, Kala. Thanks for joining the live streaming. See you tomorrow. Oge Kwangumu. This is open outdoor billboard. 자유, noun, freedom, 표시, sign, 구역, area. Can you see all the compound nouns? So you just need to know. Coex, the entire area is designated as all this. And conjunction, hidden conjunction. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. Don't you have it at home? Rachel, come on. You don't have it at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I think they want to emphasize because 광고물 by itself can be just advertisement product. So that's why they want to see okay, outdoor advertisement product as in billboard. You can just interpret it as billboard. So hidden conjunction is like two options and then or because. Because this happened and then this happened. Or it could be this happened and then this happened. They're very similar. So we're gonna go through together. So can be also because. That's right. So here, 한국판 Times Square라는 별칭과 함께. Ah, uh, 아니요. I don't think so. But I think it's digital. <laughs> Jess. 한국판 타임 스퀘어라는 별칭과 함께 So 라는 This is 라는 Think of it as called 라고 하다 Jordan 라고 하다 To be called 라는 별칭 is nickname Nickname called 한국판 타임 스퀘어 Do you see 타임 스퀘어? They are actually saying 타임 스퀘어 Yeah, I like that Known as Nickname known as 한국판, Korean style. Think of it as a Korean version. Korean version of Times Square. The Times Square is in where Rachel lives. Probably you see it every day, right? 별칭과 함께. 별칭과 함께. With the name. Together. In this case, together doesn't really work in English. So, I guess, uh, also, 과 함께. Yeah, it's just weird. Together, though. Okay, so, 디지털 미디어 랜드마크로 자리 잡았다. All the nouns, as. So, in this case, subject might be shared in both clauses. So, this is designated. That's why this is positioned or it's secured as digital media landmark. Also, or together with nickname known as Korean version of Times Square. This is the second last sentences of today. So as you know, this is the subject that shared that is shared in both clauses separated by hidden conjunction. Would you say because or and then? Coex entire space, entire area is designated as this. And then this is secured as that. Or because they're designated, or that's why they're secured. Sometimes it's more clear which one to go with, but like this time, it could be either or. That's fine. It could be either or. Okay? So now let's go to the last one. Pretty simple. I had to include this. <laughs> South Korea, you know, pride, right? So, 삼성전자, LG전자 등이 이곳에서 초대형 사인이지 기술력을 뽐내는 이유다. This is kind of interesting sentence too. Because you're gonna see interesting verb here. Oh, wow! That's insane, Jess. Was it packed? I bet. So you, how far is from Nashville? 
Is it really far? Do you have to fly there or drive? So main verb in this sentence. What verbs do you see in this phrase? I see. It's far. Nice. Tiffany, you already talk about subject. Is that really subject? You will find out. You will find out. So what is the main verb? Hint. Verb always goes at the where? End of the sentence. Be verb. Be verb. If this one ends with a consonant, you're gonna see ida. This ends with a vowel, you're gonna see ta. Iuda. It's what? This is the object with be verb. Oh, thank you so much, Digitem. Thanks for joining the live stream. Neval. Fighting. It's the reason. It's the reason that this. So whatever you see here is not what you're really thinking <laughs> for the sentence structure. But you're right. This is subject inside this. Okay. So, 삼성전자, LG전자 등, etc. Like us, this is not back. This is etc. So, 등이 이곳에서 이곳에서 Technically, there should be a space. 이곳 Or well, sometimes we put them together, I guess. 이곳에서 This place at that location particle. At this place. This object, all the nouns combined. 초대형, we talked about. Super size, super size shape, signage. We know this is the display we talk about. Display that's installed in the public place or industrial space. 기술력, 기술, skill. 리역, 기술력. 아, 전자, electronic. LG 전자, LG electronic. 삼성 전자, 삼성 electronic. 리역 means power or ability, skill, power. So what did I write here? Tech skills. You can think of it as. Tech skill. 기술 can be actually 기술. Oh, you can actually think of it as a tech. Let me see. Kisul. Oh, oh wait, this is Korean. Skill, technique. Oh, okay. So, you can think of it as a skill. I guess in this case, it's like um, skill, skill. It's weird, skill power. <laughs> Where you can think of this one as a tech skill. Just take skills. Okay. Because the yok has meaning of skill as well, so it's weird to say skill skill. As you know, this can be technical, so tech skill. Pomneda. And then adjective describing you. Pomneda. Oh yeah, pomneya. 
뽐내지 마. Don't show off. 뽐내다. Show off. So these two companies, Samsung Electronic, LG Electronic, etc., show off this super size signage skill, tech skill at this location. It's the reason. <laughs> so as you know, like I mentioned, 이유다. That's the main part of this sentence. So it's kind of interesting, right? It's the reason that you can think of it as that this happens. You get it? If you have any questions after the live stream is over, please leave comment down below. You can find this uh, video after the stream is over as well. Sometimes it takes time. These days, I don't know why. It takes almost a day to show up. Normally, it was like 30 minutes to finish rendering, but nowadays, YouTube is very busy, I guess. It takes me like a day to show up on my channel, but you can always find it in my article playlist. If I haven't done it, then I'm going to save it in my article list. So if you want to go back and restudy, you can do it at any time. Or if you know the link, you can always find this video. And if you like this kind of learning, always give it a like. And I always uh, encourage you to give me feedback because I want to apply the content that you want to watch. This is for you. Okay. So if you want to watch more about this uh, articles, more about article type of content, please let me know if you want to switch it up. Maybe if you want more webtoon, more drama, more K-pop, just let me know because any welcome is, uh, any feedback is welcomed. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for joining the live streaming and sticking around. I hope you learned something new from this video and I see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. 안녕!